Mick Murtry is with us. By the way, full disclosure, his partner, Lynn Wood, I have recently retained as one of my personal lawyers. I consider you guys, Charles Hart, are the best in the business. Uh, tell us about this case in particular. Well, Sean, thanks for having me on. I mean, this case with CNN and the retweet uh, that, that came out recently uh, talking about the settlement or characterizing the settlement, I think was a big mistake on CNN's part. I don't think uh, Brian Stelter should have been commenting on it. I think it showed poor judgment on his behalf to do so. Clearly, he doesn't have any idea what the terms of the settlement are, yet he showed some poor judgment in, in commenting you know, on it, not knowing what he was really talking about. Let me about. ask you and, this. Uh, I really, sure. Yeah, I, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I, I've known Lynn Wood since the Richard Jewell case. I was in Atlanta in that case. I was one of the few people that didn't rush to judgment, and it taught me a valuable lesson in my career. Um, I'm honored that he's, I've been able to retain him as my own personal attorney. He's great as what he, at what he does. Uh, I know one thing about Lynn Wood. There's those saying, oh, it's a nominal son. I don't, some, I don't believe that for a second. I, and I know you can't disclose it, but I know Lynn Wood. Lynn Wood wouldn't settle for a nominal sum ever under any circumstances. You think I might be in the right? Am I, am I over the target? Well, as you said, I can't really comment. And we did agree with CNN and the Washington Post not to characterize the settlement, but I know Lynn as well. He's a fabulous lawyer and uh, he does great work and it's a pleasure to work with him on these cases. Yeah, he does this out of passion. What they did to this young man, he, this young man handled all of this perfectly, is unconscionable. The difference between me and this young man is he's not a public figure. This is more of a slam dunk case than uh, most people know. And I believe this kid might even be a billionaire when all is said and done. Thank you for standing up for this young man. He did not deserve this in any way.